is happening ladies and gentlemen my name is ty with the gopro strapped to my head and this is the 2024 volvo xc40 recharge now we do have the twin motor um all-wheel drive one taking to, to go for a test drive today um, which means we have quite a bit of power uh under the hood if you can uh say that um, we're working with full electric um, all-wheel drive lots of power and uh, we're gonna see what it's like to drive this thing today now before we get started i'd like to tell you that um, if you'd like to see a full kind of uh, features tour of this uh, specific car i've done that as well so go check out ty drives youtube channel um, and you'll see a dedicated feature review kind of checking out the exterior under the hood under the trunk rear seats and up front kind of displaying all the technology all the buttons and switches um, on this xc440 recharge but back to our test drive we've got uh, about 120 miles of range which will be plenty um of of mileage for our test drive now i do have the lights turned on but i also have the one pedal drive turned on too so we'll definitely test that out now, this is not the first xc40 recharge i've driven um, since i have done videos on these in the past but the big news this year for the xc40 recharge is more range so whereas a 2023 and older model had about 250 miles i believe of range uh for the re well i'm sorry let's back it up here the all-wheel drive now gets 250 just about 250 miles of range now um, before it only got just over 200 i believe it was like 220 so even if you get the rear wheel drive version of this car you're up at like 290 miles of range which isn't too too bad so definitely a lot more range this year um, they just did some improvements here and there just to make it a little bit more competitive uh, so now with that out of the way um the xc40 recharge is pretty much the same vehicle as it has been in the past which is not a bad thing because i actually really like the xc40 recharge it's a good size it's small it's nimble it's pretty lightweight for an electric car and man does it have a lot of power <laughs> 400 just about 400 horsepower and 494 pound feet of torque so that's it's a good number for the car this size and we will be testing out acceleration up here Now, kind of your initial impressions on the XC40 recharge will be it's a pretty quiet and smooth driving experience. Now, we're up at, you know, about 45 miles an hour and there's not a whole lot of wind noise. You can barely hear cars oncoming. There's a little bit of whir from the tires. We do have 20 inch wheels on this car, uh, but it's a pretty, pretty calming and subdued driving experience. So that's pretty good. You can definitely feel that there's a little bit extra weight on the recharge versus the gasoline engine uh, powered XC40, which by the way, we did do a video on that a couple months ago. So again, check my channel out. Uh, but extra weight isn't always a bad thing because that means it actually rides a little bit better than the regular gas uh, XC40. Now at this light here, we're going to make a right uh, using our one pedal to slow us down. It actually has a really good amount of regen braking from the one pedal braking. Uh, now we're going to get up to 25 miles an hour and mash the throttle, see how fast we can get up to speed. And here we go. <laughs> you get that instant rush of power and everything all the accessories in the trunk just shoot towards the rear that's probably what you guys are hearing but uh definitely no joke as far as power goes uh that's you know just over 400 horsepower just under 500 pound feet of torque in a car of this size is is pretty impressive and it uh it definitely shows Now that we're on a little bit more of a rougher road, um, you can definitely hear a bit more noise coming from the tires. Um, takes the bumps pretty nicely though, um, I have to say. Yeah, it takes the bumps nice. Now, I did turn on the steering wheel firmness 
uh, I turned that feature on so there's like an on off switch whether you want the steering wheel to, to be lighter or firm I turned on the firmness um, and it's actually got a pretty nice weight to it um, you know the, without it being firm I feel like it would be a little bit too light uh, but that is kind of the market for the electric vehicles uh, nice light steering uh, but this on the firmness setting is actually a really nice weight to the steering wheel and man this heated steering wheel gets hot I'll tell you that and yeah, turn that down a few notches every time I drive one of these XC40 or C40 recharges I'm always pretty impressed um, with the car I've always been a fan of the XC40 in general even you know uh, the gasoline engine one uh, but uh, this gets you more power and you, and you don't have to pay for gas so that's a pretty good trade-off there as long as you could deal with the range uh, the electric driving range it's a pretty good deal now this is a plus model so it's got some features it's also got the climate package the nicer wheels and a couple other odds and ends um, on the car uh, so it's got a $61,000 sticker price just above $61,000 uh, just so you have an idea on uh, the as tested price we're working that with that pretty cool Fioid blue I believe I'm saying it correctly on the outside but uh, pretty cool color on this car too and we'll take it around a corner actually seems to handle pretty nicely you know all the weight is kind of towards the bottom of the car uh, with the battery pack uh, but it is an SUV so we have some up top, up, up top weight if I could speak uh, so to say so there's a little bit of body roll going on but uh, feels pretty good in the corners We do have the presence of Google Maps in this car, so we can either get it over here or in there with the uh, driving cluster, or the digital gauge cluster, and we can toggle that on and off there. So that's pretty neat. Over the couple years that this feature has been out, the one pedal drive, I've kind of gotten used to it, um, but uh, it's definitely a, a different feeling. If you've never driven a car with a one pedal drive, it's, it's a little bit hard to get used to. Uh, but it's one of those things where once you get used to it, it's kind of second nature. It's like, why do we even have a brake pedal <laughs> if this car will bring you to a complete stop? And that's what this car will do. You can kind of modulate um, the gas pedal uh, the, or the lack of gas pedal pressure. Um, and uh, you can get this car, you know, with some practice to a complete stop um, wherever you really like, too. So it's pretty cool. You can go first, man. And off we go. In silence. <laughs> this car really does have a fun amount of power. It's, uh, it, you know, obviously electric car is a little bit heavier, so that brings down the acceleration feel, but it's, it's instant and there's no waiting for a transmission. So it's kind of like a one speed, uh, kind of direct drive transmission, if you will. Uh, so it's just, it's a fun car to drive. It really is. You know, it's got a nice short wheelbase, so you can kind of zip it around the corners. It's easy in the city. And it's, this is a really nicely packaged car. I really do enjoy the XC40. And with that being said, I guess it's time for us to wrap up the test drive. Once again, make sure you head over to our channel to check out the features review. I also hope you stick with us here at Tie Drives for more videos just like this one in the future. Thanks a lot for watching.